friends, welcome to Diondi. Today on behalf of Diondi, I am going to explain you the Diondi food delivery app. I have downloaded the food delivery app from Google Play Store. The red icon that you are able to see on my screen is of Diondi food delivery app. I will click it to get started. Okay, so now I am able to find four different options for scrolling or for utilizing the app. The first is a skip now. The skip now option means you can continue browsing the application without logging, logging in. The second is a login with phone number and the rest are login with Facebook and login with Google. I will continue with login with phone number. Okay, that's beautiful. So when you log in into the application, you are able to see the screen in front of you that starts with the delivery to option. The delivery to option means it helps you to uh, list down the uh, address that you want the food to be delivered. You can either manually enter the address or allow the Dion D food delivery application to automatically locate your address. Then you find two options that is delivery and takeaway. We will continue with the delivery option. The next are the banners. Over here you will find different banners that are listed by different restaurants for helping the customers to know that what offers are different restaurants offering currently. The second is the search for restaurant. Here you can type anything and find the particular store or the particular item in front of you. If I'm typing pizza and I'll go on next, I'll find the pizza store. That's amazing. So let's continue with it. Okay, so with the pizza store, I'm having different categories in front of me. That is featured, wet pizza, non-wedge pizzas, veg pastas, non-wedge pastas, sides and beverages. Let's get started with the featured section. The featured section has different pizza. I will add one Kadai Pani Tikka pizza. Click on add. If you want to order two pizzas of the same category, you can just click one more plus. And if you think that you want to order only one, just click on minus. Okay. Then I'll go for the margarita pizza. And as you're able to see that it's written customizable. So the items that are easy to customize while ordering it, it will be written customizable. So helping the customer to know that fine, this particular option or the particular item is able to customize at the time of ordering. Let's get started with the margarita pizza customization. Click on add. Great. So now uh, the margarita pizza can be ordered in different sizes. That is small, regular, large. And you can add varieties of toppings like onion, capsicum, olive, corn. And accordingly, the price of the pizza will be differing. So I'll go for regular pizza. I'll add some olives. I'll add some jalapeno. And I'll add some mushroom. Okay, great. Let's get back. Okay, I'll also order one garden fresh pizza. Now, after doing the same, we'll click on view cart. Okay, when you click on view cart, you are able to see the items that you have already added over here. The next is a special instruction. You can just type any instruction over here, like uh, make it, make it quick. Now next is promo code. Click on view offers for applying the particular promo code. Click on apply and the promo code would be applied. Now second is a delivery time. When you click on it, you will able to get different option that is deliver as soon as possible or you can schedule the delivery by clicking on the different slots. You can also order the same for tomorrow. If you think that tomorrow you'll be in the meeting and you won't be able to order it. So let's get started. Let's schedule it from now. So that's a beautiful option. You can also schedule it for day after tomorrow. Isn't it great? For now, for now I'll go on as soon as possible. Confirm delivery time. Now here you are able to find the billing details. That is item total, GST, GST delivery charges and to pay. Now GST is here because I'm ordering from India. So depending on the country, the tax format would be changing for every application. And the last one is delivered to. Now you can also change address. If you think that you are not ordering for a particular address for now, you are ordering for a different address. You can click on change address and the address will be changed. Then click on proceed to pay.
Okay. So when you click on proceed to pay, you again have two options that is cash on delivery and pay online. I'll continue with cash on delivery and click on place order. Hooray, my order is being placed. So let's track it. Now this is one of the most important feature of any food delivery application that is real time order tracking feature. When you click on orders and when you click on placed orders, you can just click on it and track your order that okay, the order has been placed. Now we'll get to know if the order is confirmed. Again, you will get to know if the order is left from the particular restaurant or pizza store. Then you will also get a notification if the driver has arrived at your location. And at last it will confirm that the order is delivered when you deliver, when your order is delivered and you pay for the same. So let's get back. One more important feature is the reorder feature. Here you can reorder the cancel order. Sometimes you order uh, a particular order for the, from a particular restaurant then you need to cancel it. But then you realize, okay, I have to make the same order again. So you just need to click on reorder. And you can view cart. Okay, fine. So whatever you ordered, it will be added over here. And you just need to pay it. So this is the way how you can reorder a cancelled order. Great. Let's get back. Now I'll explain you the last element that is profile. Over here the last element is a profile. In the profile you find the name that is user for now that is a default name. That is, then next is delivery address, change password, help, terms and conditions, privacy policy and frequently asked questions. These are all for user profile. User can change the password. User can change or add multiple delivery address. User can get help and from the help column or the privacy policy to know the different policies laid by the application. The terms and conditions of the app or utilizing the app. The FAQ that mostly ask questions by the customers. Next is rating the application. You can rate the application after having a particular delivery. Next is change language. My current default language is English. You can change it as per your location or as per your convenience. Then the last option is the sign out option. When you click on the sign out option, you will be signed out of the Dionde food delivery application and hence you will not get any push notifications. So let's get back. That's it friends. Hope you have enjoyed the video. Thank you.